going through my three, four hundred plus videos on YouTube, I realized that I have never done a quick out the door makeup look. So this is a 10 minute makeup look, even though I talk longer and it does take a little bit longer for me to talk through it. This is a 10 minute makeup look you can do anytime you want. Might be 12 minutes might be 12 minutes but anyway this is easy and you can do it and achieve a very polished look out the door without a lot of time and without a ton of products and let's get into it right now in a 10 minute makeup routine I would just substitute concealer for foundation and this is awesome because you're basically skipping a couple of steps and you get to do just a really quick application that's going to cover really well but at the same time you can still sheer it out so that it looks really natural. I'm just taking a BK Beauty brush and I'm just going to go over everything and make sure that it gets really worked in well. For me, a brush is so much faster than using my fingers or using anything else. And the finish is very, very natural and very, very quick. And that's what I love about it. I'm going to go over my eyelids because I'm skipping primer and I'm actually skipping concealer too. Now you might need to go in with a little bit more concealer. That's completely up to you. Please make sure that you go down your neck and I pay attention to my decollete because it is very discolored. So that is like, one to two minutes on a buffing of your foundation and your concealer and it just goes so much quicker when you do this and for those of you that have never heard of concealer's foundation mr wayne goss is the one that introduced me to it and i love this that it's so quick and so easy and you don't have to worry about extra steps. I will go in and I will pat underneath my eyes or around my eyes to get a little bit extra coverage on there because that's where I have the darkness, the super darkness, and I make sure that I get into those inner corners. I wanna make sure that I brighten my eyes up even more by making sure I put a liner in the waterline that is just a, this one is an essence, I believe, and that's gonna mess my makeup up. So I'm gonna have to go back over where I put my finger and just pat it in a little bit more. Now what's gonna happen with this routine is you're gonna need to set it down because you've gone really quickly with your makeup over your skin. So I go in and I set it down almost immediately. And I use this Catrice, um, this is the Prime and Fine Dewy Glow Skin Spray. I use this one because it has that little bit of a sheen in it. And I'm not gonna be using highlighter today, so I'm just gonna put this on my brush and I'm just going to just pat it around where it needs to go in order to set down my makeup and my concealer and it's gonna give a little bit of a sheen or a little bit of a pretty glow to my skin and I really like that. And I'm gonna pay attention to the under eye area, paying a lot of attention to that area because I need that to set down and not crease. Now I still want to have a little bit of warmth on my face but I don't want to take a lot of time contouring or bronzing. So I'm just gonna take my big huge fan brush and instead of you know keeping it in the contour, I'm just gonna go across both of these. This is the Essence Contour Duo. Putting it across both of them kind of makes it a little bit softer and then I'm going to do my bronzing and my contouring all at the same time. And this is gonna warm up my face and it's gonna be a little bit quicker Quicker than if I just used a bronzer and a contour, which I normally do on these days. I go in and I do all of that extra stuff just because I love it and I like to do it. But contouring is really easy. If you already have the basics in it, just skim this across and this brush does wonders. I have one of these on my Amazon store, which I will link you to. It's not the exact one, but I have one like it. And then we're gonna do blush. I chose a blush that has a sheen in it. And this is Dolce Pink from Milani in their baked blushes. And I chose a little bit brighter of a color because I'm not gonna do full eyeshadow. So I wanted the um, cheeks to be a little brighter and a little bit um, more of life to them. And this one just does the job so well. So I'm gonna make sure that I bring this up around into that other part of the bronzing or the contouring that we just did. And then I'm going to hit the chin and the nose because that's where we get some of our sun as well. Build it up to where you feel like it looks good and natural. You can use however much you want, however much you choose. The next product I like because it's a one, 
there went all my stuff onto the floor. The next product I like because it's a one and done brow product for me. This might not work for you, but I feel like brows are really important. But at the same time, some days I just don't have a lot of time to do them. This is the Essence Make Me Brow. And I believe this one is the taupe color. I'll make sure that I link it below for you. Because this is a new tube and a little bit juicy, I'm going to take a tissue and I'm just going to dot the end of it. Otherwise, I'm going to get too much in there at once. And I'm just going to go in and all this does is it brushes through my natural hair I have a bit but I don't have a ton and on my other eye I don't have a tail on it so I'll show you what I will do with that as well but basically I am actually drawing in a little bit of my brow here to be able to get a little bit fuller look to my brow because when you aren't doing your eye makeup a little bit fuller brow is going to pull that eye up some so you can tell the difference between the two and then I'm just going to do this side and you'll have to forgive my shaking hands. I am not nervous. I just have a palsy in my hands, which is a disability, but I try not to let it stop me. And most of you have heard that spiel before, but there are some people that haven't and they get a little nervous when I do this. So if you can see, I just took that little spoolie and I just drew in my tail right there. I don't have a tail. It's been, it's been gone for years. So on that eyebrow. So there is the two eyebrows. Very simple, very easy. And this is a pomade type product. So my brows are going to stay in place, which I really love. Now, if you want to, you can take that brush that you were using as your contour and just glide it across your eyeballs because your eyeballs, your eyes, because what's going to happen is whatever's left over is just going to contour your eyes just a tiny bit, as you can see right there. And then I'm going to take that pencil. I'm so disorganized doing this, but you would be more organized because you'd have your bag or whatever. But I'm going to take that pencil that I used and I'm going to go right here into the inner corner to bring some light there where you get the most darkness in your eyes. And I'm not using any sort of a powder in there. I'm just going to use that product. So I do like that a lot. And I'm going to go in with a lipstick. And this is from Flower Beauty. This is Autumn Rose. And I can't talk while I do this. I will push this lipstick up a little bit so it acts like a liner and my lips will get a little bit fuller. I really love the color of that lipstick. It's perfect for me. And then after that, I'm just gonna use another Essence product, which is their Lip Plumping Gloss. And because that lipstick's so matte, I'm going to put that on top of it. It's just gonna make your lips have a little bit more life to them. And then lastly, don't ever forget your mascara. You're going to absolutely want to use your mascara. So go ahead and curl your lashes. Taking the time to curl your lashes really can make a difference as well. And then I'm going to use the Essence 24 Bold. I love this mascara. I have a whole video on the just this mascara. So take that mascara into the eyelashes. And as you're working it, try to touch the lash line. And I am doing this real time. I never do my mascara on camera because my hand shakes so bad. But I am going to try and just go in and touch the lash line because that gives kind of a fake eyeliner look. So as I'm doing this, I'm trying to go in as far as I can. My hands are really shaky today. I apologize. But you just go in and touch your lash line. I spend a lot of time on my eyelashes because... It is one of my features that I like the best because they're longer because I use an eyelash growth serum And I know I'm going to get some people asking about that So I will link that below but I do spend a lot of extra time on my lashes Because I want them to look their very best and I feel like no matter which routine you're doing If your eyelashes look pretty and they are really taken care of it's going to make your look stand out instead of just, you know, on a normal day when I don't really want to do anything. So I feel like that base to even everything out, lipstick, eyebrows, and eyelashes are an absolute. Now, because I don't have any eyeliner on, I think I'm going to leave my bottom lashes undone. And that's okay too. You can do that at any time you want to. But we'll take a beauty sponge and go over underneath my eyes, around my nose, and in my chin so that I don't get excess 
of the makeup there. And so I'm looking at it, it looks a little bit too stark between my skin and the makeup. So I'm just going to use a little bit more bronzer and I'm gonna warm this up just a little bit more all over my face and I'm gonna trail this all over my face so that my skin gets a little bit warmer and it doesn't look quite so stark. And I don't like what happened right here on my eyelash, so I'm gonna take that off. And that is it. That's 10 minute makeup. That probably went more like 12 minutes, but forgive me because my hand's shaking. It takes me a little bit longer. So all you need to do is fluff your hair up a little bit and put a pair of pretty earrings on and you're set to go. My earrings and my shirt, I cannot link today. These are custom made earrings, which I can leave the information below from the YouTuber that does make this. My shirt is from Ross. I know you guys ask me all the time about my shirts and I buy my shirts at Ross and I can't link them and I apologize for that. But fluff your hair up, put your earrings on and you are ready to go out the door, you're polished. So I hope that you did enjoy this 10 minute tutorial on makeup. Please take care of yourselves and I'll catch you all in my next video. Love you, bye.